Hi, welcome back to Nursing with Bonomi, where we put the page into practice. I'm Ben the RN, and the lady behind the cam is Nurse Nay. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about my job as a nurse working in the orthopedic clinic. So today, we're going to respond to one of our viewers who requested a video about my uh, change in um, working um, conditions. So. Um, as many of you know, I left the field of hospice recently, uh, about six months ago almost, and I've been working in an orthopedic clinic. So this was prompted by, um, if you watch our video about um, why I left hospice, you'll understand the reasons, but um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what I do right now. So mainly what I do is I work for a foot and ankle specialist. Um, she specializes in that, but she does all kinds of other orthopedic surgeries. Um, right here in Southwest Florida. I work for a physician group, um, so I don't work for the physician herself. I'm employed by the hospital, or both employees of the hospital, so if any of you are wondering, that's how it works, but I we work with her as a team. So I do uh, the first part of the leg work when you go into the doctor's office. It's called intake. So intake is where you gather the information about the patient. You um, you know, in my case, uh, working in an orthopedic clinic, we do not take vital signs. We do not take blood pressure, temperature, any of that stuff like you would at the primary care. But we do ask for, for weight and height and pain level. So I take vital signs, ensure accuracy of patient information, their pharmacy, you know, review their medications. That's the important part of why a nurse is good for this position, um, you know, to review medications and patient history. And, you know, you do what's called an HPI, History of Present Illness. And that's where, you know, the nursing assessment, you know, comes in. And, um, you know, where nursing knowledge is valuable in this kind of position. Um, you know, because you ask the patient specific questions, you know, about um, how their pain is, how long it's been going on, you know, where it's at, where it's hurting. And the more accurate you can be, it's going to help the doctor to determine, you know, better uh, courses of treatment for the patient and, you know, particular spots where she can pay attention to on the x-ray. So that's kind of what I do in a nutshell. Sometimes I, you know, work for another physician uh, who's a lot more fast paced. Um, he does more knees and hips and, you know, stuff like that. But mostly I work for the orthopedic uh, a surgeon who specializes in foot and ankle surgery. Let us know about your experiences with any orthopedic issues. Have you broken a bone or you know if you've ever had surgery? Uh, let's generate a little discussion here. So tell us about any time you've had an experience with an orthopedic doctor. Uh, so see usually between 15 to 25 patients a day on busier days and get up to 30. Uh, that's kind of pushing it uh, for her. Um, getting close to 30 is a pretty hectic day but um yeah I work uh, 8 30 to 5 I have about a half hour lunch and I'm home every day usually by 5 30 at the latest so it's uh, you know it's really not bad no weekends holidays uh, you know no on call so it's good to have work stay at work not bring it home with me that's one of the great advantages about this job so you know, make a brief connection with patients. You know, it's good to see them get well. It's good to see them improve over time. With orthopedics, people can graduate and where they don't need to see the doctor anymore. After surgery or after fractures, things like that, it's good to see people's improvement and to, you know, see their happiness. So that's one of the nice things about this job too. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, uh, for more uh, videos, uh, please see our previous uh, selections, and uh, remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more of our content. We're going to try to keep putting it out about every other week or so, so please uh, stay tuned for more videos to come, and thank you for watching.